Okay, as we get set for the Pro Wrestling Eve Championship match, I've been joined here at the commentary desk by none other than Greg the Truth Lambert. Greg, why are you out here? Why am I out here? You have the unmitigated gall, Ellis, to ask me that question. I am the co-owner of the XWA. I should be the full owner of the XWA. The authority does what it wants, when it wants, goes where it wants, commentates when it wants. And I am out here to do so. I am out here as well to monitor you. So you better be doing your job properly. Speak, man, have you got anything to say for yourself? As we see Jenny showed in here, the challenger of this match entering. Uh, from Huntsville, Sweden, a legitimate amateur wrestler over there winning several tournaments. This, of course, is uh, set up by Sam Slam with his friendship with the Eve promoter Dan Reed. And introducing her opponent! You raise a very good point, Jesse, and that's part of the reason why I'm here. I want to make it crystal clear that this is a Sam Slam initiative, bringing pro wrestling Eve, bringing Europe's only all-female wrestling promotion to Morecambe. This is not my idea. You know, I am not the biggest fan of women's wrestling. Every time I have brought women's wrestling to Morecambe in the past, it has not gone well. I don't like the fact I have to work with Sam Slam. I don't like the fact that my so-called best friend Mark K sold him 50% of the shares in my company. But sometimes I have to make concessions, you understand that, in order to you know, bring harmony to the XWA. So I can get him to do what I want. When I want, sometimes I have to compromise. And I've compromised by allowing him to bring the wrestling D to Morecambe for the first time ever. But don't blame me when it goes wrong. Well, I think it's a brilliant compromise. I'm a huge fan of Progressive I and mean, I am in good form that we get to see this championship belt here tonight at the XWA. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a singles match and it is for the Pro Wrestling Eve Championship! There is Dan Reed at ringside, the man with the beard. Before we get the action of the way, your referee for this contest, Mr. Joe Penny. Yay! Introducing first... I hate beard, She though. hails from Brunsvall, Sweden! With a Pro Wrestling Eve record of four wins, three losses and one draw! She is tonight's challenger! She is the female fighting machine, Jenny Shudin! I am in hard impressed with Shodin. I have to say that. There's one women's wrestler I'm impressed with. I'm introducing Also an impressive wrestler. Obviously with the impressive family history, the Knight family well known legends among British wrestling fans. You know, Dan Reed, I've been an associate of Dan Reed for nearly 10 years, and he has been banging on at me for years about how great pro wrestling is, about how it's not like you know, some of the women's wrestling you see on TV in certain American companies, that the, the wrestlers in Pro Wrestling Eve are athletic, they are hard-hitting, they are brutal, the matches are exceptionally good. You know, we don't see any of these glamorous divas who are more concerned with their looks than they are with their wrestling ability like you see in other promotions. Well, OK, Mr. Reed, Sam Slam, this is your opportunity. Jenny Shodin, Brittany Knight, show me something. Show me what you've got. Impress me. Well, Jenny Shodin showing you right now. Oh, stamping there on the elbow and the arm there of Brittany Knight. Of course, there is no love lost between these two. I don't know if you've been online, but uh, leading up to this match, there was a bitter war of words on Twitter between these two competitors with Jenny stating that she does not believe Brittany Knight des de deserves to wear that gold around her waist. But she locks in an armbar there, tearing, 
trying to pull and wrench that shoulder out of its socket. But the expert will apply that arm bar. I'm quite impressed by that. As well you should be. I mentioned before, Jenny showed him the little legitimate, sorry, amateur wrestling background. As Brittany Knight fires a huge kick there to the jaw of Shodi, rolls up into a small package, but Shodi manages to kick out. Escaping to the outside to catch her breath right now. And that's an, an impressive technical wrestling prowess from Brittany Knight too. Quite surprised by what I've seen so far. Jenny moves out of the way of that baseball slide, catches Brittany, what's it? Oh! Following up by applying that first arm breaker there. Did, did my eyes deceive me there, Alice? They a, a, a DDT from the apron to the number floor. Oh! That is exactly what you saw, what we both oh! just saw. Unbelievable. Oh! I've not seen anything like that in, in most of the, the, the men's matches in Morecambe, let alone the women's matches. Oh! Oh! Short power bomb from Knight. Oh! Just oh! Brilliant counter to that arm bar there. Managing to fight out of it and take control here. And now whipping her into that hard steel ring post. That is going to scramble Shodin's brains for a couple of seconds here. And now firing hard shots into her back. And pressing back on the shoulder. Reverses the whip and instead Knight now goes into the ring post. Shodin follows out with his two packs on that hard wooden floor as well. Brittany Knight is taking some punishment right here. Well, I have to admit, Jesse, the, the brutality, the, the aggressiveness, the, the spirit of competition that Dan Reed has said is infused in all the pro wrestling team athletes. Well, it's being displayed here in Morecambe. It certainly is real in Morecambe. Now, I like this. I like this focus from Shodin. Focusing on that arm, on the shoulder of Brittany Knight, as we see here with yet another kind of arm wrench technique. Her finisher, as we've seen before, or at least as I've seen before, being a fan of pro wrestling, is that cross arm breaker. And so weakening the arm here, weakening the shoulder, is going to pay dividends in the future. I've seen Jenny Shodin before. I'm a student of wrestling. You know, I may not appreciate everything that I see, but that doesn't mean that I don't have knowledge of it. I've seen Jenny Show being compete. I've seen her after the line of that amateur background. I know she's won several amateur wrestling competitions all over Europe. I know about her pedigree, and I know about, look at this, look at the way she's contorting the teenage of the champion, Brittany Knight, trying to, trying to take that, that arm back with her to, to Sweden and then perhaps wreck Brittany Knight's possible career in America before she even gets a chance to go out there. I've heard that. I've heard she's been scouted by American companies, even if she's having a tryout, but I'm not sure they'll want her if she can only go out there with one punch in a while. But there, that's where I'm firing in with some hard chops now. Both competitors exchanging blows here. Knight using the ropes to gain some leverage there. Shodin doing the same. Oh, and firing with a hard elbow to the jaw. Knocking Brittany Knight down. Goes to the cover, but fails to get the three. Currently, Brittany Knight still holding on to her title belt. But for how much longer can she keep it up? How much longer can she take this level of punishment? You know, I, I will say one thing. That this, is, this isn't Kelly Kelly versus Eve Torres, ladies and gentlemen. Thankfully. Oh, the strength there from Shodin! Holding Brittany in the air before delivering that suplex. That's to allow the blood to rush to her head going for the pin. It forces the blood to rush to Brittany Knight's head, making it harder for her to concentrate, harder for her to kick out of that pin afterwards. I really like this. Incredible technical prowess there from the Swedish wrestler. I like the aggressiveness of Shodin to just staying on top of Knight, not giving her a moment to breathe. Oh, but I tell you what. Brittany Knight cutting her off there, you know, Brittany Knight, she's the fifth member of the Knight family. Wait a second, this before. That's the Knight right! That's Brittany's finish with one, two! Oh! No! No, Shodin kicks out! Shodin kicks out of the Knight light! I do not believe it! You know, I was about to say, Brittany Knight, second generation wrestler, fifth member of the Knight family to wrestle in North America. Her father, Ricky Knight, has wrestled here for me. Her mother, Sweet Soraya. Her brother, Zebra Kid, and Zach Zodiac. 
and the 18 year old Brittany Knight has inherited that night fighting spirit. She nearly retained the title there despite taking an incredible beating so far from Shodin. It's Shodin now, obviously inheriting some aggression from somewhere else. Finding up to the turnbuckle now, she's got Brittany where she wants her. Come off the top rope with a super plant. Right into the middle of the ring. You can see the pain etched on the face of Brittany Knight as Shodin goes for the cover. Oh, the kick out from Knight. I was about to say she can't survive this, surely. The courageous, courageous competitor from Norfolk. Kicking out, and I like that from Shodin. Like we've seen William Regal do many times before. You're a great British wrestler. Not that Shodin is British, but you know, like Brittany Knight, for example. But a European wrestler. Shodin rubbing the forearm into Brittany Knight's face as she went for the pin. As we in and adding insult to what could have been a victory. Well, Shodin now looking in complete control, but a reverse to the whip there from Knight. Shodin manages to duck the clothesline, goes for a cross body. Oh, but Knight catches her. Uh, holding in some kind of capture move. G.I. Yeah, Joe, Joey Hayes. Oh, oh, oh! Capture DDT there! I haven't seen a move like that in years! Oh, but Shodin manages to get her foot to the ropes! Oh, just poor positioning there from the current champion! This is the third time these two girls have met in recent times in the tournament to determine a pro wrestling league champion, which Brittany Knight won. They wrestled each other twice. One win each! Who's going to win this decider? Will Knight retain? Or will Shodin become the champion? What are you now doing now? Dropping the elbow there into the heart of Shodin. She's banging on that top turbo because she's getting the crowd going. It looks like she's going to climb to the top rope. She is. She's going to climb the turnbuckle. Going for a high risk maneuver. Oh, goes for the elbow drop but misses. That injured arm being driven into the canvas there. That was a big, big mistake from the current champion. That was useful impetuosity, Alice. That's what that was. Useful impetuosity. Well, a huge mistake. If Shodin can capitalise on this, already having injured that arm earlier, and then, of course, missing the elbow drop. If Shodin can lock in that cross arm break, and this match could be all over. Nice going to be so careful here. He needs to show ring presence. Shodin is moving in. Going for it. Back suplexes. Yes! Bridges with it, but no, turns out, and in fact keeps hold. Looks like she could be setting up for a German suplex. German suplex, a big German suplex. Bridges, oh, doesn't quite get the pin. You saw Knight fighting the second German suplex, trying to break the grip. She couldn't do it, she didn't have the strength in her arm. Jenny now, holding that arm, driving her knee into the shoulder again. And turning over, this is it! This is the cross arm breaker! Will Brittany Knight tap? Will Knight tap? Will she lose her championship? Oh, Roper extending that elbow. How much longer can, can she take this kind of pain? She's in the center of the ring. She taps, she's tapping. She is tapping. The match is over. Jenny Shodin is the new Pro Wrestling E champion. And just like I said all along, Ellis, I knew that Pro Wrestling Eve would be a great initiative. I knew that having the first ever Pro Wrestling Eve title match here in XWA in Morecambe would be a great, brilliant move. Another fantastic idea on the mind of Greg the Truth Lambert. I'm well, taking credit for that. We've seen one major title change here tonight. Could we be seeing yet another in our main event between David Deville and Sticks? One of the greatest women's matches I've ever seen. No, we can't. No, we won't be seeing that, Alice. What are you talking about? We'll not be seeing that.